welcome back to the farm. Uh, today we're having a little trouble with our plow controller. Um, it's a western plow and um, I press the button and nothing happens. This is going to be a short little fix-it video on how to repair this style plow controller. It's happened to me in the past, so I'm going to pull it apart and show you how to fix it. So come on, let's go inside and make this work. Alright, I have a western plow on my truck and I went to go move the truck and I tried to turn the plow controller on and it would not turn on. I have one of these. It's a western plow with the uh, push button controller. It's a V-plow. Um, this on and off switch, no matter how much I pressed it, would not turn on. I knew the controller had power because the backlights came on and they only come on when the plow is actually connected properly um, at the front where the plow connects to the truck. But no matter how much I pushed or how hard I pushed on this power button, this on-off button, the controller would not turn on so that I could actually you know, lift the plow to move it. Now this has happened to me in the past. What we have to do is we have to take this apart. What's behind here is there's a circuit board that has little um, little pads that, you know, they kind of they kind of look like this. So you have, uh, um, you have power on one side and trigger on the other, but they're not connected on the circuit board. Um, the little pads on the back side of these things are conductive and when you push down that makes the circuit complete. It, it acts like a switch so it, it bridges this side to this side. So what happens is on the circuit board that gets corroded um, and then when you try to push down on these buttons the corrosion keeps that um, connection from from working. So let's take it apart and uh, see if we can get it fixed. Alright, you'll see it's all connected like that. Let's pop it out to make it easier to work on. So, here's the button pad on the back side. That's part of the circuit board. So, we need to pop this off from the circuit board. And you'll see these black pads here. Um, they are conductive. So, when um, these make contact with the surfaces here, um, those little squigglies are where the power runs through, where the electricity runs through, and the conductive pads will bridge that gap and create that connection. So you can see, um, you see some of these are, are pretty nasty. So we are going to clean these. We're going to start with, um, I have uh, some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. Just get a little bit of a little bit on there, you don't need a lot. And we're going to rub it. Then kind of clean it off with the other side of the Q-tip. Then I'm going to take paper, newspaper, printer paper, any kind of paper. Um, if you want to use sandpaper, make sure it's it's in the thousands of grit. You know, it's, it's not... Um, if you use like 220 grit even, or 320, you might actually wear off the little metal that's on there. And, Standard paper is abrasive enough to clean the corrosion off, so we just rub it real good until it's shiny again. So I did it a little bit before. You can see these are shiny, and um, these ones in the middle are not. So the one I had just cleaned is that one. So. Let's do that one next and see how it goes. And that's what it looks like after it's uh, after it's been cleaned. So let's, we're going to go through and clean up the rest of them so that we can actually use the plow again. And you can see all the crud that came off. Uh, this is the alcohol side and this is the non-alcohol side. Um, all the crud that came off of there and that's all that stuff is preventing that connection from from doing what it needs to do. 
All right, you can see those pads are uh, much cleaner looking now, and that's just that's. I think it might be gold or, or copper on there, um, and it's just a real thin layer on there, just enough that it you know electricity runs through it. But when you get a little bit of corrosion on it, you know, it just it won't make that connection. So now I'm going to clean off these pads a little just to make sure that there's nothing that's preventing these from making the connection. All right, pads are clean. Let's uh, let's get this reassembled and back in the truck and see if it fixed that. Now this used to have a little nub. There's there's these little nubs all the way around. Um, they go into little holes, you know, see here in the, in the circuit board. There was one in the middle that went into this hole, um, but I could never get it to go in, and it had a little lip on it, and I could just I could never get it to go in, and the first time I pulled it apart, it actually ripped part of that. So I just pulled that off and got rid of it, because it, it doesn't seem to add much to the holding power of this. So, and then I take uh, tweezers and just pull these things through until, until it sits flush. Now make sure you don't pull too hard, otherwise it will rip them off. Alright, that appears to be uh appears to be in. Let's reassemble it. Longer screw goes in the top, shorter screw goes in the bottom. Alright, all back together. Let's go to the truck and test it. Alright, now let's see if this will work. I'm going to fire the truck up. See the lights on the controller came on. Wait for the glow plug because it's a little chilly here. There we go. Get it into neutral. So, now before, no matter how hard I press this on and off button, this light would not come on. So let's see if it works this time. Excellent. Now raise. Came up, float works. Let's see. Alright, all the buttons work effortlessly. Turn it off again. Back on. Okay, it's all the way in. Alright, so if you have one of these controllers and when you press the buttons, nothing happens, now you know how to fix it. Alright, so we got the controller fixed and everything's working good again. Um, maybe I'll remember to keep the uh, controller indoors this year, so uh, or next summer so this doesn't happen again, but if it does, I know how to fix it. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on farming.